Hello, everyone, and may God bless us all. You are with Crafts Life Zero, and I am Tina. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you will know each and every time that I am live or have a video for you. Please comment at any time you have any type of questions. Um, I have to come to you in this manner today because my granddaughter um, is going to a school where they are testing a new program for the school systems. Um, this program is a e-school program where they're trying to see if they can educate children at home and over the computer. So in my household we only have one computer and most of the time when I do my program she's in school. Uh, and she's, she's going to be in school today. What? Why I supposed to be on the show with you all? So I said, what I can do is I can make a quick video for you all explaining the situation. Uh, I do plan on having a live show today. But I have to wait until she's finished with her lessons. <laughs> Once she's finished, if you have the notification bell on, guess what? You'll know when that live show comes on. Yes. <laughs> Hello, y'all. <laughs> okay, so now, <laughs> let me give y'all a quick brief about yesterday. Yesterday, I went to the gym again. Took me two weeks to get back. But I took pictures of um, the machine that did the damage. <laughs> but I got back on it because I ain't scared. I ain't scared. Mm -mm. It ain't going to win because I need it. Because... Um, after the gym, I went to the doctor, but let's stay with the gym thing. So, I did all of my machines, but I did them in a, a way that would allow me, I'm not hurting today. Guess what? I ain't hurting, y'all. I ain't hurting because of that. <laughs> I might be still hurting because of that. Y'all see, I had to get a shot yesterday because of my allergies. But I ain't hurting because of that. I ain't hurting because of the gym. Mm -mm. Uh -huh. uh, I had fun at the gym. I had to do a... I couldn't stay the, my whole quality time that I... But it was good that I couldn't stay. And I got a good workout in the time that I had. Oh, I was like, mm, I know what to do now. So, I... Uh, I I wore an extra sh shirt up under my shirt, and I wore this hat. Y'all seen that because I had the picture. And I just wore a regular little gym outfit like I usually do because I ain't going there to impress nobody. I'm just going there to, you know, get my health in order. So I did my workout, and I was like, bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Oh, Lord, yeah, I was tanning it up. But I was tanning it up at a, to the point where it's that, uh-uh, don't you hurt yourself. So I did, I did most of my machines. I did the incorporated machine just to see if I could still, if I could keep it incorporated. Uh, yeah. And I got a good, I was so impressed with myself yesterday and the level of what I could, you know, manage to do. Um, 
Now, on to the doctor. <laughs> well, it was like this. Y'all see, I hope y'all seen all the pictures that I put up yesterday. Uh, I put up the pictures for the machine that I would, that, no, <laughs> that, mm -hmm, that one. I put that machine picture on there so y'all know where to go to. <laughs> it's a good machine. Mm -hmm. I just used it wrong that day, and I shouldn't have had it. Uh, then I left from the gym and went to the doctor about my allergies. And as you see, I had to get a shot. Mm -hmm. And she, she, um, she gave me some medication for my allergies. And... She told me that I had to redo my whole station because of it. I have to wash everything down over here that's not covered up. By the grace of God, I keep a lot of my stuff covered up. Um, because I know I have allergies. And we, what I'm allergic to, I'm allergic to... Uh, cats and I'm allergic to dust um and y'all know like I well I'm gonna just say this I do keep my my area dust free to the best of my ability I don't let dust get in my space uh because I am allergic to it and my family knows I'm allergic to it and so, as a family, they try to keep things according to what, you know, I'm allergic to. They keep the house accordingly so that I don't be sick like that. I, I also, I also get sick from, I've been told y'all, I'm a water bug. I love water, seriously. Um, I can get in the shower, I can swim, and I had, I, I have to be careful with it, you know, so I limit myself to it because at, I, I love it, <laughs> y'all, that is a touchy subject with me because Water do me in. It just, it don't like me as much as I love it. It don't like me. <laughs> so now I'm forced to because I made myself sick uh, about a month ago showering and washing my own hair. So now I have to cut that off. I can't wash my own hair. Um... Um, but my allergies, she, she said that this is what I got to do. I got to, uh, she wants me. She told my daughter, she said she got to wash everything in my area that could catch any type of stuff to, you know, uh, to make me sick. It, and it really makes me sick real bad. I don't know if y'all can see on that picture, but she had to give me medication. She had to give me this medication. I can't let y'all see my name on it. Uh, and she made my daughter buy this for me. Because we got to redo my whole station with this. My whole area with this. Um... Uh, so we are going to do that. We're going to be doing that and getting that bid. And I'm going to leave it in the about page. When she gets some time, she's going to change the about page and put it in there that I am allergic to cats and dust. I'm allergic to it. And, uh, Anything that that got on, I got to redo it. Okay. So. Uh, 
on to what else I did yesterday because I did a lot. <laughs> and I did a lot. And I always do no matter what. Because, you know, you can't, you, you have to push forward no matter how hard it gets. You have to keep pushing for whatever your goals are. You have to push forward with them. And, you know, I know we love shopping trips. And uh, we love shopping trips. So I did make a video uh, on a shopping trip. Mm -hmm. And um, I got something that is, I'm telling y'all, underestimating me as a champion is, mm -mm. telling you now, thinking that I'm not of high quality, it, it, put two and two together. Put two and two together. I can bring it to another whole higher level. And I'm going to. I'm constantly, every day, my mission is to bring this channel to a higher level. So if you're not on the bandwagon, if you wait until I get, uh, once I cross that hump and bring it to that higher level, if you're waiting to jump on then, you're waiting wrong. Say that. I'm just going to say it like that. You're waiting wrong if you're waiting until I push this channel over a, a, a higher, over to a higher level. If you're waiting to, uh, I ain't gonna, I don't want to jump on her bandwagon until she proved to me that's the wrong time. To, you, <clears throat> no, that's 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 like, mm -mm. I wouldn't do that. I, I, you know, I recognize people, uh, high quality, and I. If, if I know that I know you a superstar, <laughs> ain't nobody got to, ain't nobody got to tell me to jump on. I'm jumping on right away. Because, see, I recognize. And so I understand that some of y'all might not see that quality in me yet. Y'all going to have to wait until the higher level. Get in. Get in. Mm. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> I ain't going to say nothing. I'm just going to let you go on and wait. But anyway, by the grace of God, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Y'all know, mm, it's all right. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. You know, but uh, I can say I put my hands on some good stuff yesterday. And y'all love project bags. So, yes, yesterday I got some of the stuff to go on and start getting ready to put those together. Now, I am still missing um, two items. Maybe three. I don't know because I ain't look. I, I'm trying to hold this. No, so I could do an unboxing for y'all. So, mm, I gotta wait. So, I wanna do an unboxing. Then I can kind of like start tackling. But I'm still working on the bed spread. So, <sighs> I've had so much difficulty with getting this off of my hook. And so every other. Every week seems like something else is going wrong for me to, you know. So, you know, I'm like, oh my God, you know. But I gotta wait until I can get it. I got six panels. I'm working on number seven, and I got two more panels to put the uh, granny square around. Then once I finish putting the granny square around it, I figured out what I, how I want to do it. Uh, I know what color I want to put around as the border. I decided it this morning. I'm going to put the same blue around for the border. 
I still haven't picked a border yet because it needs to be, can't be a feminine border. It has to be a male, a, a, something for a male because this is going to my son. And as I stated to you all before, I don't promote men to be women. I don't promote that. If that should happen, I have a uh, trans in my family. And you, I bet you, if you go on my page, you cannot pick out who is the trans in my family. I should make that a contest. <laughs> Y'all, I wish that. I wish... But I don't want my family member to be upset with me because you can't tell who it is. Care how much you look at each and every picture on my page, you will not be able to figure out who that trans is and that they have pictures on my page. And if anybody can, if anybody can go in my pictures on my Facebook page and pick out and tell me, in a message, who is the trans on my, in my pictures? I probably would, would gladly send you a pair of earrings of your choice. Now, nah, there you go. That, that's how much confidence I know that you will never pick that person out in, on my page. I don't. Now, somebody that know my family. Y'all don't qualify. This is for people who don't know who that person is. Okay? <laughs> if you can find them, be my guest. Come and get you a pair of earrings. Because I'm going to tell you, I don't think you can pick them. <laughs> uh, so I don't discriminate. I don't discriminate. Mm-mm. I have I have something of everything that that God has made. I have it in my family. And I'm not ashamed of none of them. Care what they decided to do and do with their life, I'm not ashamed of them. I love them and I cherish them and I treat them as such. Uh, as you all know, I believe in respect. I believe in respect of person. Uh, it's one of the most highest qualities you can have as a human being is to have respect of person. I don't know if you all understand what that means. If you don't, I will be glad to explain it to you. <laughs> um, I never underestimate the power of God, what God will do for someone. Mm -mm, I don't, I don't underestimate that. I, when I see people and they present to me uh, a respectable way that they carry themselves. I can't help but to give them that respect, you know. I would never try to harm anyone. If I can't treat you with love and respect, I, I, I hurry up and get out of y'all. I got to. Mm -hmm. And I've got to say this. They're starting to try to take likes and dislikes out of the social media. i truly be glad when they do. Mm -hmm. Because it's a form, especially here on, on YouTube, they need to take it, throw it, over to over in the middle of the ocean and let it drown. Mm -mm. Cause some people, 
use it as a uh, uh, vicious. Mm -hmm. Some people use it for viciousness. Uh, mm -hmm. And I be glad when people who bully other people have to pay the price of it. Somebody that tries to use bullying, I can see them going under the jail. Throwing that key all the way in the middle of the ocean, they can't find it. <laughs> I mean, it's just not so not necessary. I I love people. No matter whether they do something to hurt me or not, or however, I love people. I love people. Also, if I didn't love people, I wouldn't have opened my life up like this. No, I wouldn't have opened my life up to this. I love people. And I want to share it and, and help others to be able to have it, achieve it. To see that there's, you know, a way. It's a way. To be enlightened and to, uh, mm hmm. It's, it's a way to go about being kind. Uh, I hope that no one would ever think. that they have to donate to my show to give me anything to get anything from me. That's why I don't own this channel. I don't own this channel. I don't own it because if you if you really think about it, I do this channel as a volunteer. Mm -hmm. Whether you know it or not, this is me giving back to society. You know, I don't know how reasonable, I, but I love being a volunteer. Mm -hmm. And what good am I if I can volunteer to, whole, to the whole world and can't volunteer to my family? Mm -hmm. I learned that from my mother. My mother told me because she always knew, you know, she said she always knew that I was always giving to the, the children in my neighborhood wherever I lived. I would give and I would always have a bunch of kids around that I've always, I've always believed in, in giving to children. And uh, my mother said to me one day, you know, you give to all the children everywhere in society. You always doing something to give to children. When I was able to move, which I'm trying to be able to move around in the manner that I did as a young woman. So that's the purpose of me trying to get myself in shape. That's why I go to the gym and all of that. <laughs> uh, and she said, she told me, she said, uh, but first you have to be able to give to, to, to your own. They need you too. You always want to give to everybody else. Give your own kids. Such and such and so and so. And it was something she would, you know, so yeah. And so, uh, 
I don't can't remember. I got to think. Mm. It was something that I was doing. And she just thought that I was taking my own a little bit for granted. Because I was opening my house up to, to... I opened my doors to these children. And I... I uh, talked to these children and tried to help them in the best way. Like I told you all before, I have cooked in my own home, opened my doors for children who uh, mothers were not up to par or their parents were working and didn't have means for they kids to get in and out and have and get things did. I used to let them wash their clothes at my house and all kinds of things like that. And uh, my mother, I was doing all of that for my kids, but it was something else that I was doing. The conversations, and she told me, you know, that I was sharing, sharing so much with other people's children about, you know, life things and situations. She said, I need to, you know, I, some kind of way I was lacking, and she brought it to my attention. And so with that, because I, I can't remember, one day when I do remember exactly what it was, the reason she called me to the, to the table on that, uh, I'll share it. I, I have nothing that I can share. I just can't remember exactly, but I remember what what she meant by it and what it implied and how it, you know, implied it. And so from that day to this, when I when I do my charity work, I don't disinclude my own. Okay? Whatever charity work I do, I don't say that, oh, they don't need it. They, because, you know, yeah. <laughs> they they deserve it first. You know, so yeah, that's what, that's why if any time that if I decide to ever do anything far as selling my merchandise, it will only be sold as of today. Through the post office. Uh, you have to get a money order. Uh, you have to mail me the check. And insure it. And insure it to get back to you. And the postage. I'm not going to take. Uh, I'm not going to bite. Uh, off. The. Uh, expense of. Selling my work. I'm just not going to bite. In, I'm not going to. Do the work and then uh, have to pay for someone to receive it. I'm just not going to do that. Now, I didn't say that I'd be, I'm, like I said, I am very charitable. Love charity. <laughs> I love charity. I love to give. I give when. Uh, but when you impress upon me, when you impress me, uh, to be a kind and loving, caring, sharing person, that is my first means to, uh, when you impress upon me, your love and caring and sharing and kindness, then, of course, you're going to receive and understand and see that back. I, I mean, it's, it's, it's kindness. And kindness wins love and respect all the time. I mean, you know, I'm not for sale for show. You can't never buy nothing. But you can impress someone. You can impress. They, Gigi's fans, they impress her all the time. 
I've seen you all be in totally impressed with people. And may I true that I know y'all it, you know it's it's uh levels to getting there. At the same time, you got to recognize and see it, see that light. You got to see that light, and I understand that. I'm trying to earn that light all day long, every day, in every way. I'm trying to earn that light, baby. And when I do, then that's when you will see uh, when you was, when I earn that light, I don't, I'm going to be so generous with it. I'm going to be like, man, she's so kind. You know, I'm just not, I haven't made this page jump to the level that it will afford the kindness that I share in my heart. It just hasn't did it. And when it does, you will be the first First ones to be acknowledged. Mm -hmm. Even with the little that I have, the ones that have went above and beyond the call of duty to love and honor and cherish me the way I love and honor and cherish them, believe you me, I'm fighting every day in every way to try to give them all they deserve and more. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I'm going to do it. It can't nothing stop me from it. No. Can't nothing stop me from that. No. The page, it ain't, it ain't jumped to the level where I want it to be at yet. But when it do, if you ain't over here, Enjoying the ride of getting there. Come on now. Even with where I'm at, I think that I've tried to present to you all the highest quality of a person. Maybe, I, maybe, you know, maybe. I'm mistaken. If I am, please feel free to share it with me. Please feel feel please feel free to share that information with me. I'm not gonna get angry. I'm not gonna you know have any ill feelings about it. I'm not. I'm not. 